going on guys my name is lane today we're doing a fantasy draft rebuild we are the cincinnati Bengals. last fantasy draft rebuild i did i said we're taking a running back with our first pick so we have the 15th overall pick and who is going to be here for a running back Gurley's there elliot's there bell barkley i feel like we have to go with todd Gurley. I, that's what I'm going to do. 97 overall superstar X factor. I think we'll lean into the offense this time. I hate having the middle of the draft for a pick. It's just, it's not that good. Receiver Julio Jones, Brown, Tyreek Hill, Keenan Allen, Amari Cooper's there. I almost want to take my offensive line right now, which is kind of silly. It's actually completely silly. Nelson's there. Frederick, we will keep the timer on. Zach Martin's there, which wouldn't be that bad. Swartz, Lane Johnson. Let's go with a quarterback. I'm not sure who, though. Who would be the right quarterback for this situation? Would it be like a Kyler Murray? Do we go with a Cam Newton? A Matt Ryan and Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, I think, is the answer. So we have Aaron Rodgers. We have Todd Gurley. Seems like a pretty good one-two punch, in my opinion. White's off the board in round three. Let's get Amari Cooper on this team, because why not? Aaron Rodgers needs some weapons, even though he'll throw it to every once in doesn't matter if it's way downfield or not. Landry off the board. Interesting. Um, Marquise Goodwin is there. Tyler Boyd's there as well. Uh, Whitworth. Is Nelson still there? I'm going to take Quentin Nelson or Quentin Nelson. Just because I want to build up this offensive line a little bit more. I might just let the computer pick the defense, to be honest. Zach Martin's still there. Is that who I saw? Or is it Frederick? Oh, it is Frederick. Eh, maybe. Who's still here? Marquise Goodwin's here. I might be able to wait more. one more on that. Dodson's still there. The Castro. How old's the Castro? 29. Probably won't have to worry about that all too much. But let's get Frederick on the team. He's 28 years old. 94 overall. So we got our two offensive linemen so far. We got Gurley. We got Rodgers. We got Amari Cooper. Oh, no. Goodwin's gone. Man. I really did want to get him. Godwin's there, though. Once again, probably could wait on him. So maybe we go with our left tackle and Whitworth. Eh. What about our right tackle? Dotson. How old is he? 33. I don't think that's a good fit right now. Let's get to Castro on the team. 93 overall. Beef up this offensive line for Tari Gurley for sure. Now, if Chris Godwin is still there, he's definitely going to be on my team. He might be gone. He really is. That's unbelievable. What about Pettis? Not somebody I pick often, but I do want to mix these up as much as we can. That's why we're going with Gurley, Aaron Rodgers, beefing up the offensive line. What about tight ends? Greg Olson's there. Jack Doyle's there. Ninjoku. Welcome to the team, buddy. I'm expecting a big, big year out of him on the Browns. I mean, with so many weapons, he just has to be open a lot. What about right tackle? Is Trent Brown still there? He's not. Conklin is, though, and he's pretty young. Yeah, and he has start development, so that'll be a good pick. He's going to have to actually progress a pretty pretty good amount, but I think we'll be able to deal with that. For receiver, who do you want for number three guy? Maybe like a Danny Amendola? Probably not. Um, I mean, if we're going to take a Christian Kirk or DK Metcalf, we can wait. Let's get, eh, I don't know if a Joe Staley or a Jason Peters is exactly what I'm looking for. But if Joe Stanley could actually play a year or two, that'll be fine. We'll draft his, his replacement eventually. Probably actually will be this year, even though our defense is not going to be good whatsoever. Receivers. Humphreys didn't do that bad last time, but I'm not really going to worry about it. Wow, Christian Kirk's gone. I find that very, very hard to believe. I guess we'll go defense then. So what are we going to look for? We have Cameron Hayward, McCoy's there, Jonathan Allen. Now that's a good 11th round pick that probably shouldn't be there. But since he is, come right on down to the price is right. Um, Quarterback, maybe? Yeah, we'd have to go older, guys. Eric Weddle's there. Beth A. Rashad Jones, who's I think 30. Yeah, I was going to say 32, but I'm, I'm kind of close. Jordan Poyer's 28. Carl Joseph is pretty young, but we could probably just wait on him. Hargraves there, Maurice Hurst. I went Maurice Hurst last time. I think I'll go Armstead. I won't have to pick him right now, though. Left end. Barnett, Ogba's there. Vinnie Curry. 
I'm not seeing anybody crazy right there. On defense, all we have is a right end. Okay, we have 37 seconds left. Jerome Baker, Aaron Lynch. Jamie Collins is there. I'm trying to find somebody that, that just got drafted, but I'm not... Oh, Campbell's there. Campbell's young. For some reason, he doesn't have a high overall. I don't remember how he did last year for the Falcons. Wish I did so I could have a little bit more context to why he's that low. Uh, let's get Matt Milano. Or do I want to get Jerome Baker? I mean, I don't think it really matters all too much. We could just go with Terrell Suggs, but I'm going to go with the younger guy, Matt Milano. He seems to do pretty well in simulation, so that'll work out for us. Now, we don't have anything for secondary. We don't. Oh, the guy I was going to take has gone. Man, I, I, I just keep forgetting about it sometimes. Justin Evans, Glover Quinn. Ooh, Nasir Adderley. Come on down with that star development. I just have to make sure we don't take a better free safety right there. And for strong safety, do we go with like a Von Bell or a Will Parks? Terrell Edmonds is there who probably has normal development, right? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Michael Thomas, Ronnie Harrison, who has star. That's just like a, a sneaky late round pick that you never do expect star development out of Ronnie Harrison. Well, not expect star development out of somebody that far down the list. We have a we have both outside linebackers, so do we get Bentley? I don't think any of the young guys are going to be here anymore. Manti Teo is still there. Blake Cashman would be a sneaky late round pick. Yeah, I don't see any of the, the young guys. Left end. Let's get Ogbar on the team. I know he has double development, but hopefully for the Chiefs to be able to perform. What round are we on? We are in round 17. We're going to go out 21, 22 rounds. I'm actually going to try out. Do I want to try out Bentley or Darren Lee? I mean, I mean, we could go with Tranquil. I don't like Tranquil just because of my Dolphins franchise from 19. Uh, let's go Darren Lee just because he's a scheme fit. I think he might do pretty well this year. I forget what team he went to. I'll look that up while we're picking. Uh, let's see. We need a defensive tackle. Yeah. This defense is going to be uh, not. Oh, Jerry Tillery is still there. Interesting. I, didn't Tillery go to the Chargers? Wasn't it J Jerry Tillery and Nasir Adderley? Let's see. Jerry Tillery. Yeah, the Los Angeles Chargers. Who was I looking up? Uh, who's I looking up? What are we doing here? Let's go draft it. Go down the list. Oh, Darren Lee. That's right. Uh, where do we want to go with this pick? We're running out of time. Probably should take some corners. So, Jonathan Joseph, welcome to the team. Darren. He's on the Chiefs. Okay, yeah. So, he might do pretty well for that team. The Chiefs actually loaded up on oh, my definition of load up. Frank Clark, Ogba, Darren Lee. From what they had, that's not bad. I know they lost D Ford, but you got you to gotta take some losses sometimes. Even though that, you know, that's not, eh, I don't know. He kind of went off, off sides, kind of blew it from the Chiefs, so... If I were a Chiefs fan, I'd be like, get out of here. I don't want to see you ever again. Like, yeah, you ruined it. Because they would have blew, they would have dominated the Rams. And then again, maybe the Rams would have played better just because Belichick schemed a little bit better against that team. Robert Alford. He's 30 years old, so never mind. Um, Eli Apple. Come on down. All right, I'm going to sim the rest of this. So we drafted an 80 overall team, 95 offense, which is awesome, but a 73 defense. Hopefully that doesn't hold us down, but let's go to the playoffs. We made the playoffs and got a first round bye. That is awesome. How did we do? 12 and 4. The Browns 7 and 9, Ravens 6 and 10, and the Steelers 5 and 11. Let's see how Gurley did. Rogers 4,600 yards, 35 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Gurley 1,600 yards, 20 touchdowns. Awesome. Receiving Cooper, 1,100 yards, 11 touchdowns. Njoku, 1,000 yards, 3 touchdowns. Ellington, 950 with 8. Pettis, 834 with 7 touchdowns, if you say so. On defense, Eli Apple, 87 tackles. Sack total, 7 for Anderson, 6.5 for Allen, 5 for Ogba, 3.5 for Campbell. Interceptions, 3 for Rogers Camardi, 2 for Joseph, 1 for Apple and Edmonds. Do we have any safeties? No, we have an offensive touchdown by Jonathan Joseph. Now, Gurley should be the MVP, which he's not because of Andrew Luck and Russell Wilson. We're going to go look at that in one second. The Dolphins and the Chiefs. We also have Aaron Rodgers at number nine. Coach of the year, we are at number two. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Gurley at number two. Aaron Rodgers at number seven. 
Defensive player of the year. Probably not going to have anybody up here. I didn't think so. Offensive rookie of the year. I don't think we... Oh, no, we did. Thorson. I didn't draft him. The computer did. Defensive rookie of the year. We have Tillery at five. That's right. What about Adderley? Oh, there's Adderley number eight. Okay, so we do have some good young players on our team. I like to see that. Oh, that's right. We're going to go look at the... What was it? The, the Chiefs and the... I forget what the other team was. Let's see. The Chiefs. Wilson, 4,500 yards, 38 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Okay, was it the Chargers? I can't. Was it the Lions, maybe? No, I don't I don't remember what team it was. Let's actually just go to all NFL. Uh, let's see. NFL quarterbacks. Andrew Luck, where are you, buddy? On the Dolphins. That's right, because he has 43 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. That's why I beat him out. Kind of a joke, in my opinion, but okay. We'll just overlook that. 2 XP for Todd Gurley. 1 for Cooper. 2 for Pettis. None for Kelvin Benjamin. 1 for Ellington. 2 for Nelson. 2 for Coughlin, which is good to see. What about our defense? 3 for Tillery. 6 for Adderley, which is awesome. 2 for Jonathan Allen. This defense has so many holes. I, it's it's, it's going to hold us down. We all know that. But let's go see. Let's just upgrade our team. And then see who we're going to be playing in the division around of the playoffs. I have a good feeling... Because it seems to, you know, favor... Oh, we have Juwan Williams on the team, too. Seems to favor beastly running backs, so we should just have a free walk to the Super Bowl. But can we beat the 10-6 Jacksonville Jaguars? Yes, we can. Can we beat the Kansas City Chiefs? Get to the Super Bowl. I mean, we have the running back. I told you. I told you. Let's hop into the game. And away we go. Can we beat the Washington Redskins? Is it going to be zero? Oh, no, we're up by seven now at the end of the first quarter. Seven to three. Josh Lambeau's their kicker. What a boring Super Bowl. It is 10 to seven Redskins. 13 to seven. Thank you, Aaron Rodgers. 14 to 13. They're really going to win this game. I can already tell. 21 to 21. All right, we took a three-point lead, a 10-point lead, and the game is over. We are Super Bowl champions in year one, which I just love to see. Rodgers, 302, two touchdowns, one interception. Wentz, 291 touchdown. McCaffrey, 52 yards. Not good enough. Gurley, 70 yards, two touchdowns. Rodgers with two. Pettis, 73 yards. Jones, 99. Touchdown for Ellington. 70 yards for Boyd. 48 with a touchdown for Njoku. Touchdown for Jack Doyle. Now, we're not going to have to sign anybody for free agents or sign our own free agents. So, let's go to the draft. With the 32nd pick in the first round, we're taking strong safety Goodwin. He's a 71 overall. He has star development, 21 years old, 88 speed, 72 zone, 67 tackles, 77 pursuit. In the second round, we're taking left outside linebacker CJ Lawson. He's a 64 overall. That's not good. 75 tackles, 73 hit power, 81 speed, 84 acceleration. Heading into year two, we have a 76 overall team, 91 offense, 73 defense. Rodgers an 84, Gurley 99, Cooper 91, Pettis 83. Najoku 84, the offensive line, 81, 94, 94, 90, and 56. 56 is not good. Wow, that's real bad, actually. On defense, Apple 78, Juwan Williams is a 74. Allen 85, Tillery 78, Ford 73, Ogba 78. Harrison's a 74. Milano 79, Lee 76, Campbell 81, and Adderley's a 79. Can we win back-to-back? With a good running back, anything's possible, apparently. We made the playoffs and got another first round bye. That is awesome. We went 11-5, Ravens 9-6-1, the Browns 9-7, and, and the Steelers 4-10-2. I think I figured out this simulation thing. Aaron Rodgers, 4,100 yards, 37 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. Gurley, 1,700 yards, 16 touchdowns. Ellington, what is going on? 1,100. <laughs> Why is he my number one receiver? 1,100 yards, 11 touchdowns. Cooper, 872 with eight touchdowns. Pettis, 730 with four. Njoku, four. Gurley, with four. On defense, 96 tackles for Williams. I like to see that. Eight and a half sacks for Ogba. Seven for Tillery. Five and a half for Lee. Interceptions, two for Adderley. One for Milano, Apple, Goodwin, Herndon. Do we have any safeties and defensive touchdowns? Safety by Tillery. No defensive touchdowns. Gurley, give me that MVP. Rivers, why does this keep happening to me? Gurley and Rogers, th uh, two and three. Nothing else. Coach of the year. There we are, number three. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Gurley won it this time. Rogers at three. Defensive Player of the Year. Nobody from our team. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Nothing. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Goodman at three, which is good to see. Nothing else. 
it's going to be good to kind of take the fun out of these fantasy draft rebuilds if all we have to do is draft the running back with our first pick. Just saying. One for Gurley, one for Cooper, two for Pettis. But what about Ellington? Ellington only with one, even though he's going off. Which makes no sense. Um, I don't see a two for Adelaide, two for Harrison. Goodwin got six. He'll be our starter, apparently, right? Yeah, it'll be a 77. All right, let's upgrade our team. Once again, find out who we're going to be playing in the division around of the playoffs. I imagine we'll be able to beat this team nice and easy. But I could be wrong, because Matt just likes to slap me in the face, but don't you, don't you dare think that. All right, can we beat the Jacksonville Jaguars? Get to the AFC Championship. Yes, we can. Can we beat our good old rivals, the Baltimore Ravens? Get to the A or the Super Bowl, rather. Of course we can. Let's hop right in. And away we go. Can we beat the 49ers? Really, nobody scored yet. We're up three to nothing. Now they're up seven to three. I don't like to see that. 10 to seven, 17 to seven. If it is a close game, we will hop in. In the fourth quarter, that is. 21 to 17, 20. Okay. This is not good. I think we're going to have to slow this down. Actually, they just scored again. So it's 34 to 25. Let's slow it all down. Go to change of possession. I do not want to watch this. That took way too long. So we have a first and 10, down by 10. Might be tough to win this game, but let's find out. See what Gurley can do on first and 10. About a six-yard gain, I would say. Yes. I mean, if you want to throw it to Amari Cooper and Rodgers, you know, get downfield somewhat quicker, you know, just feel free. Or right across the middle to Njoku. That's a nice big game. Maybe 15 or so yards. That's what I'd say that'd be. He's 309, three touchdowns. I mean, Aaron Rodgers, we need this win right now. We do not want to leave without a Super Bowl championship. Put our Enix in the last one. Okay, playing it safe, getting it to Gurley. Not bad, though. Maybe another six-yard gain. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty good at picking out those six-yard gains. Second and four with eight minutes left in the game. What is that? Why would you ever throw it there? We have a third and four, 751. I mean, this might be four down territory as is. Nice and safe. Is that Najoku again? He seems to love Najoku. And I can't really blame him. So we have a first and 10, 725 left in the game. I mean, the smart play might be kicking the field goal if we get into field goal range and then try to make a stop on defense. Of course, that is our weak part of the team. Nice pass. I'm assuming that's Amari Cooper. Can't really see his name. They're not really going to show me. Fifth. Oh, no, it's Pettis. So we're on the 23-yard line. This is when me as a coach, I might be like, yo, might be time to just kick that field goal. Take the points. But apparently, you could just march on downfield, which and that does make sense. So don't get me wrong. I have no idea who 84 is. Who is our third receiver? I should know that, right? But I, I don't, which is pretty bad. I'll give you that. Oh, a screen pass to Gurley. Cuts inside for no reason whatsoever. Did you not see the touchdown over on the right side? That is a precious, precious 30 seconds. Going to hand it all. Play action to Gurley, and you're going to take a big sack. When we lose this game, which we're probably going to do, I think we're going to have to play, blame Gurley, right? For some reason, he just want to run it in and take the touchdown. Even though I don't think that was Gurley now that I think about it. Don't think it was. There it is. The touchdown. Awesome. That's what I love to see to Ellington. A third receiving touchdown. This game, this game confuses me so much. Let's go into the game. Yes. Yes. Back to back Super Bowl champions. We beat the 49ers. 39 to 35. Beating Baker Mayfield. Rogers 462, five touchdowns. Mayfield, 376, two touchdowns, one interception. Jacobs, 166, two touchdowns. Gurley, 43. Hines with a touchdown. Receiving, Najoku, 10 for 128. Ellington, 7 for 104, four touchdowns. I mean, what are we talking about? Cooper with a touchdown. Touchdown for Marvin Jones. I have to write down Bruce Ellington. He might be another gem in franchise and simulation. With the 32nd pick in the first round, we're taking right tackle John Depps. He's a 67 overall, not a good pick. Why does he have those braces on his arms? 90 strength, 70 run block, 70 pass block. 
In the second round, we're taking receiver Melvin Randall. He's a 66 overall, not another good pick. 90 speed, 86 acceleration, 73 catching, 78 catch of traffic. Heading into year three, we have a 78 overall team, 93 offense, 75 defense. Rodgers is down to a 78. That's not good. Gurley, 99. Cooper, 93. Pettis, 85. Njoku, 86. The offensive line, 67, 94, 93, 92, and 83. On defense, Apple, 80. Griffin's a 60, which is not good. Allen, 86. Hillary, 81. Ford, 75. Ogba, 80. Up to star development. Herndon, 66. Harrison, 77. Goodwin's a 79. Mulatto, 80. Lee, 79. Campbell, 81. Adderley, 82. I have a good feeling we're going to have another Super Bowl championship on that little desk fest back there. And we don't even make the playoffs. No way. We went 5-11. and 11. How does that happen? Rodgers, 3,700 yards, 27 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. Gurley, 600 yards, 10 touchdowns. Cooper, 844, 9 touchdowns. The Joku, 811 with 4. Where's Bruce Ellington? What, what are you doing, buddy? I need you to step up. You're my hero. On defense, 105 for tackles for Campbell. 12 sacks for Ogba, 8 for Allen, 7 for Tillery, 5 for Campbell again. Interceptions, 1 for Lee, Herndon, Goodwin, and Apple. So we're going to need a quarterback very soon. That's kind of the, the vibe I'm getting right now. Bell with the MVP. N what? The Explorers? So that must be the Redskins? Did they change their team name to the Explorers? Gurley with number four. I can't believe that. I didn't even know that was an option. We have Ogba up here. There's the Explorers again. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Nothing. Defensive Rookie of the Year. The Explorers, they're showing up. Winter's at number six. That's going to be fine. We're going to need a quarterback. I don't know why Aaron Rodgers is kind of falling apart right there. I would have went a little bit younger, but I thought Aaron Rodgers would be able to hold up. Gurley with one. I mean, we have five for Demps, which is good. Still not that great for a right tackle. Nothing too crazy on defense. What about... Oh, Goodwin has one, so it'll be an 80. All right, let's go... Actually, I'm just going to read... Actually, we'll find out who won the Super Bowl. Then I'm going to have to re-sign all my players, but I'll do that off screen. Bruce Ellington's going to be a free agent. He is getting the contract of his life. How do you feel about seven years, $26 million? He's worth every penny. Let's see. The Falcons beat the Texans 17-14. to Seems pretty boring, but let's take a look. See who's in the game. Maybe there's some exciting players. Jeffrey Marshall, that's not it. Mariota, 227, two touchdowns. Murray, 173. Max, 71 yards. Mixon, 66. Evans with two touchdowns. Antonio Brown, 76 yards with a touchdown. Cobb, 71. Godwin with 40. Cutie with 36. Nothing else too exciting. Let's go to the draft. I didn't mean to do that. With the second overall pick, apparently we take a receiver Montgomery. 73 overall, hidden development. 87 speed, 88 acceleration, 78 catching, 83 catch of traffic. I have paddles on the back of my elite controller and I hit the back one, which has A by accident. And I have that so I could just jump in video games without, oh man. And there were some good left ends and some good right ends too. Oh, that's right. We need a quarterback. Let's take him. Julian McDowell. 71 overall. What do you got? Ooh, that superstar development. 89 throw power, 77 deep accuracy, 80 medium, 85 short. Still don't think that's going to be good enough to start over Aaron Rodgers, but so be it. Why not? Let's take another receiver, Trey Coles. He's a 68 overall. He has 91 speed, 90 acceleration, 70 catching, 68 catch and trap. We're getting rid of Aaron Rodgers. Goodbye. So long. I don't want to deal with you for one final season as a 74 overall. So we have a 78 overall team, 93 offense, 75 defense. McDowell's a 71, Gurley 99, Cooper 94, Montgomery 73, Pettis 86. Njoku, 87, the offensive line, 72, 94, 92, 93, and 84. Did hold up except our left tackle, which we lost. Apples, an 81, Griffin, 62, Allen, 87, Tillery, 82, Pose, a 58. Ogber up to Superstar with 82. Randall, 66, Goodwin, 80, Milano's an 80, Lee's an 80, Campbell, 81, and Adderley's an 83. Not feeling that great about this final season, but let's go find out. Oh, man, we're playing the Explorers next week. We made the playoffs and got another first round bye. We went 10 and 6. Let's see how McDowell did. 3,600 yards, 23 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Not all that great. Gurley, 1,700 yards, 15 touchdowns. Ellington, of course, 838, 6 touchdowns. Cooper, 747 with 4. Pettis, 709 with 3. 4 for Njoku. On defense, Lee, 114 tackles. 
Sack totals, 13 and a half for Allen, 10 for Ogba. Interceptions, two for Apple, one for Lee, Campbell, Randall, Goodwin, and Harrison. I don't think we're, oh no, we have a safety. Bye, Jonathan Allen and CJ Lawson. No defensive touchdowns, yearly awards. Elliott with the MVP on the Explorers. Uh, what, do we have any Bengals? There's Gurley at number eight. Coach of the year, we are at number four. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Elliott Jackson, Brissett, Gurley at four. Nobody else, Defensive Player of the Year, Miles Garrett still on the Browns, Jalen Smith. No Bengals, Devin White, Offensive Rookie of the Year. What is going on with that team, actually? McDowell, Offensive Rookie of the Year, that makes sense. We also, no, that's not our team. Where is our receiver? Is he just not up here? Defensive Rookie of the Year, Randall at number two. We also have Kruger at number nine. I just thought our rookie receiver would be up here. I mean, I did take him with the, what, it's a second overall pick, which is just absurd. Wow, he's superstar with seven, which is awesome to see. Ellington, or Montgomery, rather, is five. Ellington, I'm just so caught up in him. Nothing really in the offensive line. So this is going to be a final like run that's going to be tough. All right, let's upgrade our team. We're an 80 overall, 93 offense. So maybe we can make one final run. We're going to have to wait and see. We have 31,000 XP, but I already bought all the upgrades that I could buy. So if you're asking why it's like that, that's why. Can we beat the 9-6-1 Miami Dolphins? No, we cannot. We lost 21 to 13. Quite a shame. I mean, we won two. Can't really, can't really be that picky. It's like, oh, I can't win it every single year. Come on. Luck 236 with a touchdown. McDowell 212 with a touchdown. Rushing Cohen 82 yards. Gurley 48. Two touchdowns from Montgomery. Receiving Njoku 71 yards with a touchdown. Pettis 67. Nothing. Oh no, a touchdown for Kenya Drake, but nothing else too exciting. So if you like the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.